Hi, this is Joe from Prep Agent. Today I want to talk about all you people who want to be perfect and how perfectionism leads to procrastination. You guys are studying for a real estate exam, or maybe you already passed, but you know when you study, every day you put it off, things get a little worse because the real answer to pass the exam is consistent studying every day, a little bit every day. People wait for those crash courses, but really those are crash course reviews, not crash course learn everything right now and take everything in like you have some X-Man superpower or something. I don't know how people do it. I guess some people do, but they take a crash course, they'll take it all in in one weekend or one day. But the reality is for most of us normal human beings, you need the consistency every day of studying a little bit, which means you can't procrastinate. Now, the benefit of studying for the real estate exam is there's a hard deadline. You know when that exam is coming. When you start to practice real estate, there is no hard deadline. If you do nothing, nothing comes. Nobody will tell you otherwise. So procrastination could kick in in a real bad way. So I want to talk about that so you guys could be as successful as possible in anything you do, but more specifically in your real estate career. In the fast paced world of real estate, agents strive to provide exceptional service to their clients while juggling multiple tasks and responsibilities. Picture this Monday morning and our perfectionist real estate agent, let's call him Bob, wakes up bright and early and ready to conquer the world of property sales. Armed with his color coded planner and detailed to do list, Bob sits down at his desk, ready to begin his day. Little does he know that his perfectionist tendencies may be working against him. As Bob prepares a new listing, his perfectionism kicks into full gear and he's very proud of being perfectionist. He says, I do things the right way. I'm not lazy or inefficient. He insists to have the perfect set of photos to showcase the property in its best light. He spends hours researching the latest photography tips, setting up lighting equipment, meticulously arranging furniture to create the ideal ambiance. Meanwhile, the clock keeps ticking and potential buyers are eagerly awaiting for the listing. Hours turn into days and Bob lost in the world of perfect angles and staging accidentally procrastinates on marketing the property. It's a hilarious paradox of trying to achieve perfection while inadvertently delaying the progress. As Bob prepares a new listing, his perfectionism kicks into full gear and he's very proud of being perfectionist. He says, I do things the right way. I'm not lazy or inefficient. He insists to have the perfect set of photos to showcase the property in its best light. He spends hours researching the latest photography tips, setting up lighting equipment, and meticulously arranging furniture to create the ideal ambiance. Meanwhile, the clock keeps ticking and potential buyers are eagerly awaiting for the listing. Hours turn into days and Bob lost in the world of perfect angles and staging accidentally procrastinates on marketing the property. It's a hilarious paradox of trying to achieve perfection while inadvertently delaying the progress. Perfectionism often extends to an administrative side of real estate. Bob, ever the perfectionist, can spend hours organizing paperwork, triple checking documents for any errors, and ensuring every I is dotted and every T is crossed. While attention to detail is essential, there comes a point when perfection becomes problematic. This is why people don't like working with lawyers. It's necessary. We got to do it very often, but people should grant it the idea because lawyers spend so much time. You got to check this, check that, check that. And they're so caught up in avoiding problems that eventually things don't get done. Not to say about all lawyers, but that tends to be the issue. Bob gets lost in a sea of contracts. Going back to our friend, Bob, barely noticing the mountain of piling of pending transactions with paperwork taking precedence, he loses sight of the bigger picture, missing out on fast paced market opportunities. His office becomes a labyrinth of perfectly filed folders while potential clients go elsewhere due to delayed response. Procrastination masked as perfection. Indeed. This concept rears its head at open houses all the time. 
As Bob plans an open house, he spares no expense in creating an unforgettable experience for potential buyers. Every aspect, from the perfectly coordinated refreshment table to the expertly arranged furniture, demands his undivided attention. You would think Martha Stewart decorated the place. Meanwhile, the hours tick away, and with each delayed open house, Bob risks losing interested buyers as he obsessively fine tunes every detail, losing buyers every moment. I mean, let's face it, a lot of buyers just care about square footage, location, and is the property functioning? They don't always care about the decoration. Now, obviously, I'm not saying don't decorate the property, but there's a balance here. Getting obsessed over the fancy hors d'oeuvre could sometimes make you lose business, even though it's fun to decorate and pick hors d'oeuvres. But this isn't your wedding. So, moving on, the pursuit of perfection inadvertently transforms an open house procrastination show. People are walking in, but Bob is running around preparing the hors d'oeuvres instead of talking to people and selling the property. Where the star attraction is not the property, but rather Bob's flawlessness and beautiful presentation, not the goal. Perfection is like Bob have an insatiable desire to refine and polish their marketing materials. Everything has to look perfect. Whether it's drafting property descriptions, writing blog posts, or fine-tuning social media content. They strive for absolute perfection in every word. Bob is known to spend countless hours editing and proofreading his work, often falling into a never-ending cycle of just one more edit. And this is especially dangerous over things that are pretty objective, because what's perfect to one person may be not perfect to another. As he agonizes over each sentence, the intended release date looms nearer and his marketing materials become outdated before they even see the light of day. It's essential for real estate agents to find a healthy balance between striving for excellence and avoiding unnecessary delays. Here are a few tips to help overcome perfectionism-induced procrastination. Embrace imperfection. Remember that imperfections are what makes life interesting just as a few scuffs and scratches can add character to a property. You guys ever see Goodwill Hunting when Robin Williams talks about his ex-wife because he's a widow, all her flaws? He says, that's the good stuff. Trust the process and avoid getting trapped into the perfect photo vortex. After all, potential buyers are more interested in the substance of the property than the picture-perfect staging. Don't let paperwork rule your world. Organize your paperwork efficiently, but don't let it become your primary focus. Create systems to stay organized without falling into perfectionist traps. Remember, a little chaos can be a sign of a productive agent who's out there closing deals. The open house paradox. Strive for a well-executed open house, but don't let perfection delay your event. Buyers appreciate authenticity and genuine interactions more than flawlessness. Focus on creating a welcoming environment and ensure your property shines even if a spot on the carpet was missed during the cleaning. Let go of the just one more edit syndrome. Acknowledge that perfection in marketing materials is elusive and that chasing it indefinitely will only prolong procrastination. Embrace the concept of done is better than perfect and trust your ability to deliver valuable content without obsessing over every word. In conclusion, being a perfectionist in the fast paced world of real estate can be both a blessing and a curse. The perfectionist real estate agent like our friend Bob may find himself inadvertently succumbing to procrastination, resulting in missed opportunities and delayed progress. However, by embracing imperfection, finding balance, and learning to let go of unrealistic expectations, real estate professionals can break free from the grip of perfectionism-induced procrastination. So this is Joe from Prep Agent. And like I said, let's begin with how we study. A little bit every day. Don't wait till the last minute. A little consistent studying will get you past the exam and building that habit of learning a little bit every day, making the calls a little bit every day, posting on social media a little bit every day, 
and taking care of any other responsibilities you have a little bit every day on a consistent basis will get you so far rather than procrastinating and let chaos ensue. Don't do that. It doesn't need a ton of work every day. The key word is consistency and don't procrastinate because it doesn't have to be perfect. Thanks everybody. This is Joe from Prep Agent. Remember, keep it concise and keep it simple.